Warp Gate started here for Classic. We'll see if he cancels that and goes for a quick Stargate, or if he keeps it, goes for a Twilight. Seems like it might be a Twilight Council opening for him. Um, and so we've got a Medivac drop coming down here. There is a Spotter Ooh. Pylon. I like that we're having stuff like this out. Yeah, both Classic and TY today showcasing some really great spotting with these uh, Pylons and Supply Depots. Unfortunately, not able to catch a glimpse of this one as Classic a little bit late. Okay, does respond in time. So, not bad. Two probes, and he's not going to suffer any losses. Can he stalk? No. You know, it's funny. They're about a second out. They can't blink over the minerals and really catch it. Mm. It might have even been worth it to burrow that uh, widow mine and try to kill <laughs> that other probe. But I, I love the Observer going back to the Twilight Council to see the Classic frantically chrono boosted it yeah, one last yeah, time yeah, just yeah. to try to get it so out. But two more factories going down from TY. Is he going to play mech? Whoa. This is crazy, Tasteless. Let's see how TY wants to handle this in a longer game, because I don't think this game's going to be ending before 10 minutes. Yeah, and I'm wondering exactly when Classic is going to catch wind of precisely what TY's game plan is, because this is mech, but it's not battle mech. It's slow mech. We got siege tanks coming in, and with this Phoenix coming through, I mean, 18 Marines right now in the middle of the field. All right, the Phoenix is going to make its way into the main base and scout these factories. So TY, TY excuse me, Classic now. Certainly does know it's mech, but for Classic, the response is going to be three Stargates with a Fleet Beacon. I I'm assuming it's a Tempest, but Carrier's also a possibility here later on as Classic right now just kind of sharking around the middle of the map. A push from TY at this moment could be very scary because keep in mind with those 18 Marines that he has on the field, the threat, oh my goodness, this Warp Prism. <laughs> Threading the yeah, needle. So, somehow it's not dead. Oh, the depots are down here, but yeah. okay. They're like, don't stay down forever. No, attack through. Yeah, I thought for a moment TY might actually just try to push across the map and start sieging down some bases because his standing army is very powerful. And yeah, carriers coming out now for classic, but it does become a little bit scary because, you know, just pure Viking alone against carrier, should some Tempest start to get mixed in with that. Suddenly you're playing against this long range unit. It's a very awkward dance where the carriers in a straight up fight might just win. I'm not sure if Classic or TY, excuse me, is aware that two more Stargates actually got thrown down during all this. So Classic yeah. is making an almost pure sky toss switch. He's, he's getting Tempest, right? Yeah, Tempest are in production. He's also getting the, uh, I never know what the upgrades are called. The one that makes him do more damage to yeah. buildings. Tempest damage upgrade. <laughs> yeah, that, that, that's it. <laughs> That's my new headcanon. This is a nice trade, by the way, here for Classic. That's a lot of carriers going down. Does he have, does yeah, he have like air, does he have vehicle armor or something? I mean, that was pretty sick. I yeah, thought that would that, be that, better. I kind of thought these carriers are going to be a, a fixture of this game, and now we're already back down to two, so. Yeah, not really the engagement that Classic wanted there. And you know, one thing that's surprising me here for Classic is that he's not really establishing many outposts in the middle of the map, as we often see players do when they play mech where they will throw down you know, some shield batteries, some cannons, just to provide the ground support for a mostly air army. I guess at this point, you know, going with Disruptors and Colossi, he doesn't feel like he needs that just yet, but it would be a boon in a situation where Vikings can just dive the air force like we just saw. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> you know, it, right now it's clear that TY is not going to die. Okay. Um, but Classic is not getting impeded. Like, he's just continuing to get bigger and bigger and bigger. I mean, if you look at the incomes at the bottom, Classic's is comically big. We actually almost never have games in any matchup where, like, the income is this insane. Yeah, we almost have 200 supply of workers between both players, which is just crazy. It's crazy, <laughs> Especially man. for a PVT of all matchups. You know that the quadrant rule we talked about in StarCraft 1, where Terran can't get out of their fourth, their, like, little quadrant of the map, is generally too because true because of siege tanks, and I know in, you know Mario kind of makes this not true in TVZ, and that's that's really why he's exceptional. Um, but you know when you go mech against Protoss, it is hard to like you know take half the map. Although with this middle base here as TY, it does make that a little bit easier. You don't really need to come too far out of your shell to expand from four bases to five bases and get that critical fifth gas. Yeah. So that is nice here for him. I mean. If TY right now is just sitting on four bases without that you know, high yield Vespine Geyser in the middle, I wouldn't be surprised if his gas count right now is very close to zero, but instead able to build a bank is TY is. We have Classic once again pushing in. Disruptors will trade out for 
Widowmine, handful of siege tanks, but this game is becoming increasingly about the air. 21 Vikings on the field now for TY, and now starting to mix in battle cruisers and Ravens. It's so funny, actually, all that distance fighting. Yeah, yeah. That gateway that uh, Classic threw down earlier probably cost TY maybe maybe 1,500 minerals in terms of boss <laughs> time. That was crazy. Uh, Classic's finally taking the last spot. Yeah. We're out of bases. It's that kind of game, everybody. Setting up an outpost in the middle, too, with cannons, shield batteries, and I might be one of the players that, and I'm a little bit biased because Protoss is my main race, but personally, I do feel like Terran is a little bit favored in these extreme late game scenarios because the static defense is just so solid, especially with missile turrets. Once they get high sync auto tracking, it's hard to really dive on them. And the long range of Vikings and the cost efficiency, I mean, you truly just need to defend. Yeah, as I Terran mean, you just kind of wait it out and let the game, let the clock run, right? Yeah, I mean, proton cannons are good, especially in the early game, but late game, they're nothing compared to a mineral-based economy that's functioning on orbitals and planetaries and missile turrets for defense, right? Yeah. Um, you know, it's funny. Uh, Vikings, you don't really think of them as that nimble, but they are fast enough to snipe Nexuses and pick up and leave. Uh, certainly in this case. What is with these uh, sets of immortal pairs moving around the map that I aren't getting anything done? He's just trying to take out bases like this one. But TY now with Battle Cruisers out means that this is not really a viable strategy anymore. I wouldn't be surprised if that was the last of these little uh, immortal hit squads that we saw coming out of Classic as the window is pretty much passed. So he's going to have DT blink. The idea is he just blinks right on top of the CC and it dies before TY can really react. Yeah, and then maybe recall out or go for another base depending on the army positioning. And it'll be a good move. He will get this planetary. And coming out into the middle of the map, armor shredding missile will connect Whoa, with these a carriers. Oh, move here. Okay. Yeah. Not the best. That's so funny. The cannons are like, no, we're still here. Yeah. Shield pedders. No, not so much, my friend. Pretty good. And, oh, the mothership actually recalling him. Terran's so also funny. teleporting back home. This is really like this. Uh, it's, like a, it's like a battle from Star Trek. Or something. Everybody's just like phasing out. <laughs> it's going for these leaps. It's like, you, know, you go to this side of the board, I go to the other side of the board. Um, but he has kept the Terran off of those two bases on the upper right, and he's going to start to push in here. Can he actually break this position open? I mean, the Vikings aren't here, so the carriers can kind of have their way. Yeah, Classic is doing a good job of controlling the game, but... You know, TY also, with those battle cruisers, was able to deny that top right expansion. And looking at the banks, definitely favoring Classic at this point, but it's hard for me to tell whether that means he, he's truly leading. <laughs> you know, I mean, mm -hmm. it, it's so hard to call in these kind of split map, split map scenarios. It's going to be a point of interest for both players as Classic would love to try and deny that yet again. Yeah, I mean, it seems like he just has, like, a little bit more mineral patches kind of everywhere. <laughs> Five more Stargates in production. I think that's, what, ten in total or something? That's crazy. Yeah. Love the Stalker Warpin coming in just to deny those Vikings. Oh, my God, great ooh. storms. Oh, ooh. that's a lot of damage. Uh, I don't even up. know what to say right now. <laughs> yeah, the battle that's cruisers, such a weird fight. Battle cruisers are going to teleport <laughs> out of that as it was not a favorable engagement, although the shields for... Classic's army did dissipate, and Classic just going to recall back to safety now. And then look at this. And, you know, <laughs> the Stalkers. What a funny yeah, move. There are hardly any gas, right? Yeah. Uh, you know, they're basically like zealots. You know, minerals in, the, in a long game like this don't really mean that much, but he can run in and trade those out for tanks. Yeah, that's now, true. Um, and, and look at where we're at. It's kind of back to that quadrant. Yeah, it does seem like it's Classic's MO just to try and keep TY on these five bases. And TY just continuously keeps trying to re-expand here to this top right expansion. And you know, with DT run buys and potentially more attacks like what we just saw with Templar, Tempest, Carriers, it will be difficult for TY to secure that position. I like that this is the play that he's making right now, going for an expansion now in the bottom left. Meanwhile, building another command center to lift up to the top, top right. Bit of a double expansion, and wow, even Void Ray is getting mixed in here for Classic. A unit that I, I frankly don't see very often yeah. in these situations. I'm not really sure what to make of it. Yeah, I mean, I certainly it's good against battle cruisers, but Yamato and also Vikings pick them up so easily, right? 
Yeah, but maybe you're okay with that, having them in the front, because you kind of have to get rid of them with the Amatos, right? And then the carriers stay alive. That's tough. Oh, there's energy on these Templar. Yeah, that's a big oh, storm. Oh, what? Blink coming in with the Battle Cruiser on top of oh. all the carriers. The entire <laughs> Sky Army here, but Classic is falling fast. Stars Soccer. are getting warped in on the low ground, but there are so many Battle Cruisers with so much HP. Classic right now, he's remaxing back at home, but he lost almost his entire fleet. He did, um, but uh, what is going to be remade from this? Right now, definitely a, an advantage here for TY as he continues to roam. Uh, he used his warp, so it's it's not a quick trip. But we're going to have, I think it's, I think you're right, I think it's 10 battle cruisers. I'm oh, sorry, 10 carriers. Uh, how many battle cruisers are in this 13. game right now? 13. I don't think 10 carriers beats this. It's going to take two rounds of production from these Stargates. But if to he, really make something happen. If you can pair it with Stalkers, because again, remember, Terran's going to run out of money. Ter Terran has 800-ish gas, uh, sub 2K. Protoss actually isn't that far off either, to be honest. Yeah, but 1.4 is just double in gas. So. Stalkers, even with their bonus damage against armor, they do not fare well against max upgraded battle cruisers. And so I, I would expect that's to true. see them go for more hit and run tactics. I think really, for Classic, the, the unit that's going to deal with the BCs, it's going to be Tempest, but. You know, with, with BCs, when they blink on top of your army like that, it really does kind of negate that kiting ability that you have. And, oh, okay, here we go. Now, look at this. He just ignores it and goes elsewhere. Yeah. And you've been, you know, th that recall from the battle cruisers is a resource in of itself. Now, he could keep sending the zealots out. Now, remember, Protoss is still mining from a lot. Right. I think. I, I wish we could actually do like a, a full check here, but. Well, just based on incomes right now, 3,000 resources per minute to yeah. 800 minerals per minute there for TY. Gas income coming in as well here for Classic. The standing army for TY, 100% better right. than what Classic has, but Classic, he does have mobility. Yeah, and he's able to kind of chip away uh, at this. Now, uh, uh, attack is coming down here. We got a lot of resources over there. Stalkers coming in. Uh, we do have Templars for Psy Storm. A lot of Tempest, dude. Crazy amount of Tempest. There's nine Tempests out here right now. I'm wondering how many more are in production as Base does get taken out. Classic now re-expanding to the bottom left. In the top right corner of the map, if you're wondering what that unit is, it is the Mothership. So there is potential for some more recall shenanigans from Classic. Should that top right, right base get saturated, he can recall units to that Mothership and then recall back out, similar to the way the BCs are used. Now, notice this too. He took out that command center. There were actually three patches there. Terran's not working with a lot. No, he's not. And he's going to take this one out too. Now look at the minerals for Terran right now. It's about a 1,000. And, he's down too. And, and you know, and, oh, look, he's going to try to box him in. I think he could just use a recall to save these. He will. But that range, I think that's a mothership recall. Yeah, look at that. Yeah. Coming here into the top right. Battle crews are going to come in. That mothership almost certainly will be taken out. But I think he's okay with that. Yeah. Now, again, TY might still be able to pull this off, but this is like a, a really unusual game here. Um, Classic has 5,000 minerals in the bank and almost zero gas, by the way. So That's right. It is a little bit, it, it can be a little bit, is this what's kind the of word? <laughs> right, right, right now, when they engage each other, I mean, somebody has to, to win and, and kind of snowball it because yeah. there's not enough gas in the game. I mean, yeah, you could both just make a bunch of Marines and Zealots or something, right? But, you know, it, it, I, most likely it's going to be somebody either has battle cruisers or a Protoss that has air support and he kind of swing it and take out this last base. I almost, I want to, I would love for the Observer to click on these Vespin geysers here at the Triangle there from Classic and see exactly how much they have left. And man, Classic, if he's able to trade out Zealots and Stalkers here for Vikings, this is so good because he's trading minerals for gas. And yeah. the army that he has right now in the sky, 13 Tempest, only two oh. carriers. Oh, let's go. Yeah, he's going to be able to get at least one battle cruiser. The fact that the BCs right now have their teleport ability on cooldown is huge. Yeah, and, and you know, these things, they really do begin to add up. The little bits of damage that are happening here and there. The fact that the Zealots are starting to take out these depots. The fact that um, the Stalkers are starting to snipe a Viking here, uh, a battle cruiser there. The fact that, you know, the only way he can come back is to either bring back the slow Vikings, which, again, they have to trade out. They're not being repaired, by the way, uh, which makes the air fleet a little bit weaker. Yeah, and trading out more Vikings for gateway units. This favors Classic. Classic with literally zero gas income at this point, and Widow Mines are going to spot this coming in. But keep in mind, this army that you see on screen, this is basically all Classic has 
to fight the battle cruisers. And if there's one good in engagement for TY, if he gets the battle cruisers to jump right on top of that Protoss army, it could still just be GG. It doesn't matter how many yeah. of these buildings well, that Classic know, the, is the able Yamatos, to kill. The Yamatos could just all connect. Yeah, I feel like, I mean, TY's army. 14 battle cruisers and 18 Vikings. That is still terrifying. Although all these trades that Classic is doing are so good for him, it's a very scary proposition considering the fact that Classic can remax with literally four stalkers as anti air and nothing yeah. else. Maybe a void ray, maybe one tempest. So that's funny. not going to win the game. He you know, needs gas. These widow mines are really big, by the way. Just he's slowly eating away at these zealots. Eventually, push is going to come to shove, and Ty is going to. Counts on the position of Classic with these battle cruisers, and whoever wins that fight will decide the fate of this game. I think he's going to come into the main. I didn't re I really I, expect this. This is this might be an overextension. I feel like this can't be the right play. I thought he was going to go to the base at the top right, but maybe that's the idea. Maybe he could send Zealots up there now. Yeah, he is committing hard. There are also missile turrets here. This is going to make kiting even more difficult. Only two carriers, BCs. Okay, recall comes through. All right, so that was the play. <laughs> oh All right. man. Skirting disaster. Done. Now, um, technically, the Terran's income right now is actually better. Absolutely, especially so. with the gas. I mean, Classic needs to start mining gas. There's no way that every single gas guy is on his side of the map is depleted. Yeah, he chases that away. I mean, these ones are out. The ones so at the 9 o'clock are not. He's going to try to bait out one more move, and then he's going to recall over to the upper right. That's the play. He's got the mothership ready. So he wants to try to confirm that the air fleet's over here. Now he's going to see the battle cruisers there, which means he goes, okay, well then I'm going to just destroy your main. I'm going to destroy all your starports. What a crazy game. And and once, because the Vikings are not enough. The Vikings are supposed to be kind of like a deterrent, but if he senses the Vikings, then I think he can kill the Vikings, right? Yeah, it's going to take another recall. Battle cruisers should be off cooldown soon. Vikings are able to pick off one Tempest and... Yeah, the carrier's taking a lot of damage here. Yeah. All right, so he's done it. He's forced the recall. Ah. He's going to go over here, and he's going to try to hit the top right. I, I think that actually TY wins this game. I, I think TY does as well. I mean, I, the gas income is still non-existent for Classic. Yeah. He has 11 Tempest and 5 Stalkers. That's not going to beat the 11 Vikings and 14 Battle Cruisers of TY. TY yeah. is mining gas. He's mining minerals. These tactics, these hit and run tactics are so good but they cannot match the force of TY's army. And here we go, Yamato's now coming in on the Tempest. There's only 11 of them on the field. Classic needs to do Stutter Step Micro to have any chance of fighting these BCs. Yeah, but I think that's game. I think he actually did it. Wow. He very patiently chopped up the battle cruisers, took out the last Nexus, and has enough battle cruisers to defend this. Uh, it looks like Classic's gonna try to push through here, but I think there's just too much. Um, Air support. Even if he were to kill the command center, he would just be able to lift off another one and land it over there. Yeah, and with such a low Tempest count, I mean, you only need to teleport a couple of BCs at a time, too, yeah. as we see TY doing now. And that's the last of the anti air here for Classic, wow. and TY wins. Oh, by the way, proxied uh, Stargate. So, whether or not we have mech, um, we don't know if we Ooh. will, but, but this game may end up really coming down to whether or not TY can survive what. Um, Classic has planned for him. If Classic was going to win, Cyclone's going to be ready, and I think it's going to be just out of vision range. So I think he can actually get this one. Maybe with a no. scan. Didn't have one in the bag. I mean, even this, even if he did have a scan, it would have been very close. I think it would have come down to the final hit. Yeah, but it's going to be. It's a bit painful when you send the Oracle in, and, and you know immediately it gets shut down and put back out. I think I saw. No, sorry. I thought I actually thought I saw three gates. It's two more gateways being made here. Sometimes when you see this build, you will see the additional gates and they'll really try to lean in uh, onto the position. And not really classic style. He's been more favoring, you know, one one Oracle, go into three gate flank, add a row behind it, and then you kind of get back to that typical classic mid-game style where you have blink a handful of Blink Stalkers, Colossus, and eventually just try to stabilize on those three bases. Yeah, but TY's ground army with 20 Marines feels like it might Whoa! still be tough to deal with. <laughs> Oracle turns on a dime, but TY, I don't think, oh, Stimpak is done, so he is yeah. able to stim away. It finished like as he saw the Oracle. Yikes. It was actually a really confusing moment to try to gas, because I'm like, wait a minute, he should be able to stim and kill that. Oh, he can't, he's a second late. TY throwing down a very late third command center here. 
I was thinking he would try to find some damage with his group of units that he has on the field right now, but perhaps no. No combat shields does make it a little bit harder to micro against this. It's about one less hit for the stalkers yeah. to kill these marines. They're a little bit squishier. Is in the cards here for TY is for now it seems he's happy just to set up this third base and play defense back at home. Just getting a little feet wet there. It's a funny <laughs> sound actually. <laughs> um they should leave I, little, little footprints when they walk across the map. I haven't heard this sound very, very often, I don't think. Yeah. <laughs> it's almost out of place. Yeah, like, yeah. like, like, like a nature almost, game yeah, or something. It feels inappropriate, right? Like, um, <laughs> yeah, it's just like it's, this epic battle game. You're like, it's wow. oddly peaceful. Yeah, yeah. Um, so right now, Classic stays outside of range. Uh, he's got a good setup to try to poke into the main, blink in, uh, mm -hmm. and then run up there with the Colossus. But he's going to come over here instead. This is a lot. Is this going to be too wow. much? Wow. Classic blinks in. Is able to take out the first siege tank. But that is a wide arc of Dude, Terran units. I think this, this might be a bad nasty. engagement. Oh, my God. I mean, the Colossi are still kind of doing a lot of damage. But ultimately, he's just able to dive and cut right through. And, uh, you know, I, I was a little bit surprised when Classic attacked him. But I thought, well, let's, you know, let's see how this actually pans out. Maybe he's got a timing. Well, he clearly doesn't. Sometimes this is how you see a pro in a game, is the other guy just completely bungles an attack in there. Truly, it's going to be a very difficult fight for him to deal with this army on screen right now. Well, I mean, TY is going to try to seize the moment here. He's going to try to come forward here. There's quite a lot of tanks. Uh, TY's control is superb. He only drops a Marauder. It baits out the second shot. It does nothing. Uh, there is, there's some zealots that are going to run around and try to hit this. But I, I'm a little bit worried here. I mean, if Classic can't get control here and keep this Nexus alive, he may just die out. All oh! right, Disruptor Shrug comes in. Ghosts are able to avoid it. Nice control here by TY, losing almost nothing as the bio continues to shell the left side of this base. Disruptor on a bad rally coming in. Classic, during all of this, is raiding the third base with zealots. More units getting warped in, but this Triangle Nexus, it is forfeit. The probes are going to go and try and saturate the fourth base. Three more disruptors in production, but it feels like Classic might be on his last legs. This yeah, he just doesn't have enough. Uh, I don't know if TY wants to just try to pull away from this uh, or if he wants to push into the main, but like, this is pretty bad, man. He's been double expanding behind all of this, but he has to weather the storm that is TY coming. Nice blink forward, able to section off a good number of this bio. We'll see if the disruptor shots are there. He does get at least one ghost, so he will force back his position for now. But look at the 6 o'clock tasteless. TY about to take down another base. Yeah, he can, he can uh, part ways with the army over there on the left if he can just clean up this base down here. That being said, the supplies are pretty even, but, you know, uh, growth for TY is looking so good. Um, and look, I mean, look how long it's going to take Classic to walk across the map and do this. In fact, I think he realizes that as I'm casting it. Decides to maybe try to come from another angle, either to intercept this as it tries to come back home. And TY is just going to pick up and either move to the natural expansion or that very far fifth yeah. base. Yeah, main, main is also, there's a lot of good well, options I guess here getting for him. these robos is actually very, very attractive. And disruptors are such a good unit for zoning out right now because the stalker count is so low and it's very difficult for Classic actually to come into this position in a cost efficient way. You see the disruptors oh God, just getting they're... melted by the liberators. At least the war prism comes out and allows some micro potential, but Classic's army is so immobile. The siege tanks, or not siege tanks, excuse me, the run by coming into the top, the triangle third is also going to fall. I think TY might be moving on. I think he's basically closed it out. Oh my, my god, goodness. 40 kills on the workers. What a game by TY. What a series. What a day. This has been really something else. And man, you know, I, I was so excited that TY was back. I didn't really think he was going to be able to survive the group of death. I mean, Mark. 89 supply to 178. He's trying his best to make anything happen. Getting on the production here for TY is a nice step, but the forces for Terran here just overwhelming. Yeah, there's just too much. Um, and I mean, you know, at this point in time, oh, uh, there's going to be enough that can be produced. Or, you know, in fact, he can even try to pick up with what he's got here and go back home. The infrastructure is going to be destroyed. You can't make any more robo units. Soon you can't make any more gateway units. Uh, and there's so much of an income right now here for TY. Yeah, this is all but doomed here for Classic. He gave it a valiant effort. He showed 
a day's worth of great games, but at the end of the day, it's going to be TY advancing on. Classic just digesting this defeat. <laughs> it's actually kind of crazy how far uh, Classic's managed to take this. Yeah. But, I mean, just look at the main base. 22 yeah. workers for Classic, 14 army supply. You can see the yeah, look on like his face. He finally processed it. He's like, yeah, this is it. I mean, it was a, a valiant effort, but GG. CY advances from arguably the group of...